All right, all right. So uh, we can't go live for whatever reason. Uh, the folks down at Google can't get their shit together. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I tried so many ways. I tried RTMP or, or RMTP or whatever that is. I tried YouTube live. I tried YouTube um, going live without actually having the scheduled whatever. Doesn't really matter. We are just going to produce the video because it's a good video and we're just going to get right into it. And I'll, I'll just say right now, you know, that was literally, I'm literally looking at the time right now. 53 minutes of trying to go live on one channel when I've been going live for so long. There should be something at someone's work office where they just literally are able to uh, desecrate something like a, like a car, <laughs> like just literally get a bat and be able to break things just to let some anger out. I think that would actually probably stop a lot of these people from going nuts and crazy. All right, so we're going to be talking about getting a good night's sleep. Obviously, everyone's thinking about it. Why? Because we have a lot of things in. Listen, this is the easiest way to put it: is that we we are millions and millions of years old. Yes, humans are about say, or homo sapiens, I should say, are about 400,000 years old from our mo most common ancestor where we split. And then from there, we go all the way back till we're bacteria, okay? These lights, this camera, this technology that you guys are watching on is completely brand new. It's 10 years old if it's the iPhone, and it's 20 years old if it's the internet, or probably even longer, 30 years old if it's the internet, 20 years old, 20 years old. That longer, probably 25 years old. And then if you go even further back to 100 years, that's when lighting actually changed. And then say longer than that, that was when candles came into popularity and obviously wax, mass producing it, lighting where you can easily light a fire, you could light a candle. Why do I say all this? It's because for thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years, whatever it is, when the sun went down, we went to sleep. So our body get used to it. That was our circadian rhythm. Our, our rhythm was sun went down, we go to sleep, maybe someone stayed up, maybe someone cooked, maybe someone was protecting us as a tribe or around the campfire. And I'm bringing that up is because we feel that because we don't get a good night's sleep, it's because of us or most of the time it is, but it's actually because of the technology, the TVs, the blue light that's being radiated from our screens, our devices, our computers, from everything. You know, everything I'm trying to do is to maximize me as a, not now, to maximize myself, I mean health-wise, uh, to maximize maximize myself like I was living 400,000 years ago. That's why I eat vegetables and greens and I stay away from fructose, which is, which is fruit. Yes, I eat some of it, but not really. And then let alone processed sugars and, and wheats and grains and things like that. I don't really touch that much. So I'm gonna go into, I have a list right here. I don't know what book this is from, so I can't credit the person, but this is something that when I read it, I, I just, I changed everything, okay? and. Every, this is the thing is that people, because they don't get a good night's sleep in the morning, they don't, they don't feel like um, that it, it was, they didn't get a good night's sleep in the morning, but they blame it on the morning. They don't blame it on what they did at night. That's the biggest thing is that what you do at night is vitally important. What time do you go to bed? Are you looking at a device? Are you doing anything? Did you exercise that day? There is a clear difference between when I go to sleep and when I go to sleep after I've exercised. After I've exercised in the morning, I'm exhausted. But if I do a physical activity like play hockey at night or I bike at night and I come home, it's hard for me to go to sleep because you're, you're awake, your body's awake. So I work out in the morning because multiple reasons. One is that you're disciplined in the morning and then you go throughout your day and you're done. You don't have to think about it and then start making excuses. Do I go to the gym? Do I not go to the gym? As well as I don't want to get, you know, hyped up before dinner as well as that I want to use that energy throughout the day and then anything I consume, my body's also using as energy, blah, blah, blah. All right. So first of all, caffeine. Okay. That's the first thing I have on here is, is caffeine is it's, it's just, it's a game changer. It really is. It's, it's, you know, I don't know how old it is. Obviously, we've, we've had tea probably longer than, than coffee beans. I have no idea. Someone's going to correct me that I'm wrong. However, caffeine is, is terrible when you have it not in the morning. I don't really have caffeine for actually the number one reason I don't have caffeine is because of my teeth. I just saw my teeth becoming really yellow and I'm like, 
listen, that's not good. If I'm staining my teeth now and I continue and continue, I know clients that they stain their teeth, they're eating sugar, they definitely have gum disease and it just, it's just not a good look. So 10 hours before bed, no caffeine, no caffeine. So if you go to bed at nine, do the math, that's what, 10 a.m.? So don't do, when you have caffeine, if you have caffeine, this is the problem. Um, I see one of my clients was walking around and, and she had a cup of coffee at, I saw her at like 6.30 and I'm like, do you understand that the reason that you might not be, and she was talking about it, she was like, oh, I haven't really slept that. And I'm literally looking at the coffee and I'm like, girl, you're, you're drinking a cup of coffee right now, all right? So 10 hours before bed, no caffeine. Number three, or I'm sorry, food and alcohol, three hours before bed. I, this is really hard. Um, alcohol, I don't really drink that much anymore, but when it comes to food, this is really hard for me because I'm, I'm usually at work until about seven or eight, and I need the food for the morning because if I don't have food in my belly going to bed, which is not good, I understand, and obviously, yes, this is a list that I'm trying to follow, is that if I don't have food in my, in my belly going to sleep, then my body, what is it gonna burn in the morning? It's gonna burn muscle, I'm already thin enough, I want to. I want. I want the 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 lean swimmers build as what's his name put it the uh, the 22 time swimming champion. Uh, forgot his name. Someone's gonna be like, dude, are you kidding me? You don't even know his name. He smoked pond. You got. All right, shut up. All right, two hours before bed, no more work. Obviously, that's that's something that I've worked on no pun intended, this year, because I used to just go to bed, I would be on my screen, I would be eating food, and then I would go to bed, and I'm like, why am I go not going to sleep? So two hours before, why is this? Because your brain needs time to just slow down. If you're looking at one of the, the better books about this, it's called Full Engagement, or, or um, something along those lines. Obviously, Deep Work by Cal Newport is great. And then Something Engagement, just look it up. It's an incredible book, and it talks about every 45 minutes, your, your brain and body needs to just explode into something else. In other words, do a walk, okay? In other words, you need to get away from what you've been doing. So obviously, two hours before bed. One hour before bed, no screens, no TV, no iPads, nothing that emits blue light, okay? Why do I say this? Okay, so our bodies are on a circadian rhythm, and the reason that it's on a circadian rhythm is because that's how we adapted. We're not a bat, we don't hunt at night, and you know, a lot of things come out at night because back in the day, if they came out during the day, a hawk would come down and just take that mouse or take that thing, or if you came out during the day, it's something totally different would kill you. So a lot of animals, they, they go out at night, all right? So one hour before bed, so you have, you, and this is the thing is that at night, all the orange from the sun, look at the, look at the sun in the morning, okay? And then look at the sun in the evening, okay? It's blue in the morning, which makes you wake up, and then it's orange at night. Most of the time it's orange at night, and your body understands this. I don't know how true it is, but they said that we have photoreceptors on our skin that we know what time of day it is typically because of where the sun is and how strong the, the heat is, not only off of the sun, but what the color of the sun is. That's insane. Um, I wouldn't put it past our body because it's incredible. The number of times that you'll hit the snooze alarm is zero. Okay, so in conclusion, stop drinking all caffeinated beverages 10 hours before. Uh, generally, the amount of time that it takes for our bodies to actually clear this out of our bloodstream. I'll talk about alcohol. Finish eating big meals and drinking alcohol three hours before bed. This will help you avoid heartburn, gastric reflex, and gastric reflux and interrupting sleep alcohol might make you sleepy but it impairs your natural sleep cycle and interrupts variable uh, valuable sleep okay so the reason i bring up alcohol is because this is a this is what affected me most i'm irish so i drink a lot and then i would go home and i would wake up eight hours later i'm like how do i not how am i the reason being is that when i actually looked it out on my watch which is highly recommend picking it up is that when i looked at it on my watch my actual deep sleep wasn't really that deep. I just, I just stayed, REM is the deep, I think it's the deep, it's, you're in theta phase, your brain is in theta waves, I should say. And my, I was just waking up, I was turning, and you could see it, and it's from the heartbeats. 
So I'd be up for 10, 15 minutes at a time, and that wasn't enough time for me to actually go into deep sleep. Okay, very important that we, we hit REM sleep. I think they say two and a half to three hours, which is a lot. Most people only do about an hour, and then they wake up and they're groggy. All right, so if, we were, if you're waking up in the morning and it's just not working, and you're tired all the time, all day, you're not feeling motivated, yes, you probably don't have a big enough why to be waking up in the morning, but this is probably a part of it, okay? Alcohol, caffeine, food, um, obviously all the screens that you have work, all these things affect your, not only your sleep, but the next day. And then if that affects the next day, then it affects the next day and then it compounds. So I know this is a lot longer than I've wanted to actually be, which is ten, a little over 10 minutes. However, this is vitally important to look into every area of your life right before you go to sleep. Every area, in other words, what time am I getting out of bed? Am I go, or what time am I getting out of work? What time am I going to the gym? What am I eating right before? What am I drinking right before? You know, one thing that really hurt me, but kind of helped me was, so it really helped me was that I was drinking a ton of water. I drank at least a gallon a day and also by far because I'm sweating like a, like a banshee in the gym class and everyone's like, oh my God, look at this psycho. And then on top of that, I then would then pee at night like three or four times and it kind of woke me up and whatever and I would be thinking about it like I am right now to go to the bathroom and that wasn't good. So I actually limit the amount of water and drinks that I have for dinner and everything else. Yes, I'm parched, but when I wake up, I then go right into a quarter gallon of water, which I'm looking at is that glass thing where everyone gave me a lot of shit like I was getting sponsored by these people. Anyway, look after your sleep. It is vitally important, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with this, is that Jeff Bezos just did a, a great, I, I don't think it was Washington Post, it was, it was something around there. He owns the Washington Post, but he did an interview, and he said he goes to bed early, and he wakes up right, like, he gets eight hours of sleep, he said, every single night. He goes to bed early, wakes up early, but this is the thing, he, his morning routine works for him, obviously. His first meeting's at 10 a.m., and that's his most taxing on his brain at any time is right in the morning. And then anything before then, he's kind of groggy, he's putting his, you know, he, he actually admitted that. He said, I'm not 100%, I'm not going full steam. For me, it's the opposite. I need to be going full steam because, you know, I haven't maximized every single minute of my day. Am I gonna get to that point? I have no idea, but I mean, maximizing like this is what works and I just keep on compounding it and this obviously worked for Jeff Bezos. He compounds, this is what I do every single day and that's why he's successful. So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. Obviously subscribe to the video if this is the first time. Hopefully I can get this live thing going. It's, it's been uh, giving me some trouble on, on my personal channel, but not my BPI channel. So if you guys want any information on that, go down to the links below. That's my real estate channel. We're gonna be building out a, a couple of things, two things in, in particular. Number one is uh, BPI Media, which is a, a, an area you're gonna be able to auto post on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and then we're also building out BPIU, which is gonna be a video dedicated to, video dedicated site for anyone that's becoming an agent in, uh, in our company, but also I think we're gonna, we're gonna probably provide a subscription model for people on the outside because uh, there's a lot of people that do it. I subscribe to a couple of them, you know, they're just, they're just, they're good, but they're not really good. So I think we're gonna get involved. If you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. Have an amazing day.